Hi, my name is Marco Cantu. Welcome to this video about building rich business applications with FireMonkey. In this video, which is the third of a series tied to the white paper I've written for Embarcadero Technologies, we will focus on FireMonkey styles. What are styles for this new application platform? I'm um, Marco Cantu, authors of a number of Delphi books. I originally wrote the Master in Delphi series and the last few years the Delphi handbooks of covering Delphi 2007, 2009, 10 and XE and I'm also writing a book on Fire Monkey. I'm a consultant and trainer available for anything related to Delphi and also web development with JavaScript and Delphi on the server side. I have a blog you can see there and I also set up public training classes along with Kerry Jensen and you can find more information about the next uh, event at DelphiDeveloperDays.com This is the third of three videos. In the first video I just provided an overview of the demos in the white paper. In the second video I focus on cross-platform creating a very simple application for Windows, Mac and iOS. In this third video we'll look at one of the foundations of FireMonkey which is styles. We'll see what is the style of a T button, we'll see what does it mean to customize styles, we'll style a list box and work on a specific application that focuses on styles. If we create a brand new FireMonkey application and place a button on it, we can try to figure out a little in some more detail what exactly a button is. This is a style control and the style control in FireMonkey is a control that is made of a collection of sub-elements and if we use the style editor to edit the custom style of meaning the style of this specific button we can see that the layout of this button is made of a rectangle, an internal rectangle, some animations and glow effects, and also that there is some text. There's a text element, a t-text element, and some glow and a glow effect. Now the text element has a text property which actually is the text of the button itself. But by customizing the style you can achieve change and make operation that are generally not available inside an, uh, inside the properties of the button. For example we can customize the color of the brush used to fill the text of the button and if we now apply the style and close now we have a button with a red text. So by customizing styles we can actually do change that are not directly available at the component level. Styles are at the heart of the system. We can also create custom styles to describe specific elements of the user interface and this in the demo that I'm going to show next we can use styles to customize the items of a list box. In the pizza toppings styles application, one of the features I have is a round button. Now this is not really a round button, but it's a button with a customized style. Uh, it's actually a rectangular button, but what I did to the button is I've taken the uh, internal rectangle and I've created rounded corners, extremely rounded corners, so it actually ends up being uh, completely circular. So again another example of style customization to change the look and feel of a control. You can do this customization at runtime and I'll show you the code in a second or at design time. But the other specific features of the feature of this demo is a custom style. This is a layout that I've created manually and it's made of an image and a text element. So the image and the text element are combined within this 
layout and we can change the features of this controls okay now what I can do in this specific demo is first I fill in this combo box with the files in a given folder using the some of the IO utils classes next when I click on the button I start a couple of animations and I load one of the files first when this animation reaches the end there is an event handler on image finish and now is the core of the code for the demo the first thing I do I create a list box item a new list box item and I make it part of the list box by setting its parent property so this creates a list box item and that's part of that list box now what I do the magic is saying I want the style lookup of this list item to be image label this does not just change the user interface of the element but it creates the sub elements uh, the text and the image that are part of that style so this becomes a styled element and the style element will have a text sub element and an image sub element so what, can you, what I can do you can see here in code is that I can do a find style resource and get the text and cast it to the T text type and now I have my text item and I can change the text of the text element of the list box item similarly I can get the image of the style the image element of the style which is an, an image and well if I find it I go for its bitmap and use the bitmap of the standalone image the rotating image and also change its height okay so overall if we run this application the first the things that happen there is an animation dragging in this combo box and by the way this is defined um, at design time so if we pick the sliding combo animation we can see the properties it has no delay it's a 1.5 seconds duration it's a linear animation and it will change the X position from minus 200 to 32 so this is just an example of a fully fully defined animation now this list box is filled with the names of some images if I click on one and press at topping the image will be loaded displayed in this image component and then it is rotated and finally when the animation finishes I'm creating this list box item with the image and the text and the two gets combined and I can actually create this graphical elements of course each item of the list box could have a different style a different layout different sub elements you can host buttons combo boxes you can host check boxes radio buttons whatever you want inside your list box items so the foundation of any visual control in FireMonkey is actually the fact that controls are the combination of core elements in what is called a style now the other feature related with styles is demonstrated by this application that has a style book controller hooked to it and lets you click on this button to actually pick a style and change the entire the styles of each control unless it has been overridden at uh, design time so this was again our starting application where you can add tomato and other toppings to the pizza but we, what we can now do is click on this button and open a dialog, dialog box that will let us change style and for example we can go for a Mac style rather than the Windows style or we can go for a dark style or we can go for one of the favorites that's the Ruby Ruffit style 
and again application fully working with this completely different layout. So styles let you customize the structure behavior of an individual control but also let you change the overall look and feel of a FireMonkey application. So again we've seen how we can change the style of a button, customizing styles, styling list box items and use styles to overall change the look and feel of a program and that's again a demonstration that FireMonkey is a new interesting powerful business application architecture that you can use to build the future Delphi applications for Windows, Mac and other operating systems in the future. Thanks for listening and again stay tuned for the full webinar and read the white paper with the full details of this of the demo shown in this video. Thanks, bye.